With my time in Las Vegas well spent, there was only one thing left to do. I met up with Wendy Casing to pay my respects to her father. But when we arrived at the Santa Inez Valley, we made a depressing discovery. The river where Bill's ashes were scattered had dried up for the summer. But it seemed all was not lost. Because coincidentally, in the exact same spot where Bill's ashes were scattered, a little green plant had begun to sprout. This was the only sign of plant life in the entire riverbed. To pay our final respects to Bill Casing, I and Albino Gallipoli, who runs the Bill Casing website, offer this, offer this bouquet of flowers. We'll plant them where his ashes were scattered. Yeah, on the bigger phone, maybe? See that there? Yeah. Yeah, that's right there. Perfect. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Daddy, I know you're here. And I just want you to know how much I love you. Uh, always thinking of you. And I know you're having a your great new adventure. Ah, I can tell when the leaves <laughs> start blowing my my dad's around. So, love you, Dad. God bless. Hey, Bill. Nice to finally see you. What have you called? What have you? What have people regarded you as the grandfather of the Apollo Moon Oaks theory? They call me the grandson. It's just nice to finally meet you. Well, hope you like the flowers. Joy action. On our way back to LAX, I had one question for Wendy. Do you have any um, comments uh, along the along what Phil Plate kept accusing your father of? He kept alleging that your father said any kind of space travel is impossible. I th I think that the problem here is that people often take things out of context. And once upon a time, my father said that we had the ability to, and this is way back in the 60s. Uh, said we had the ability, and he learned this from the scientists that he was working with at uh, Rocketdyne Division of North American at the um, Santa Susana Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and uh, he was where he was a technical writer. And the scientists told him at the time that we had the technology to get to the moon, but not get back. And it was based on the law of probability and all, all you know, currently available information. Well, obviously, that was then, and I can't imagine my father ever saying that we could not do space travel. That would just, that's ludicrous. That's ridiculous. My father was a very intelligent man. He had a super high IQ. So anyone who says that about my father is just trying to um, discredit my father's um, ability to even think. So that's, I just say that's absolutely preposterous. So that's my answer to that. With plenty of time left to catch my plane, we stopped for a bit at the Cold Springs Tavern, a little place where Bill liked to go and listen to good old country music. Friday, baby, 
You make the same bread too. So go pay me that fine. Like a Me home to bed. Thank you.